Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I am outside Home Bargains, which if I show you here, is one that is near where I used to live because it's hair day. Regular viewers may remember that every time I come back and get my hair done, which is back where we used to live near Burnley, there is quite a few good Home Bargains around here and there's not really, well I'm yet to really find a good one near where we live now, South Manchester. So just looking at the viewfinder there I look a bit shiny um so anyway I thought I would pop into home bargains before going to get my hair done today and um I might even pop into Poundland as well after the hairdressers so I thought I would take you guys with me it's been a while since I've been into home bargains and yeah I thought I would show you some new and bits maybe if I pick anything up show you when I get home later in a bit of a haul I do have a couple of things actually that I wanted to show you when I get back home this um this afternoon anyway tom is on dog looking after duty i did actually just pop into morrison's on route and they have these doggy licks from webbox i can only really find the cat ones and they um i have their pr email so i emailed them to say please tell me where i can find the dog versions i found them once i can't remember where and barney loved them and they said range stock them and select morrison's so this morrison's had them so i picked up i actually picked up two of each so anyway i'm gonna head on in now i've got about an hour before my appointment so i have bought my laptop and everything to get some work done um does anyone else find that when you're at the hairdressers I mean, I personally, with having, I think I'm a full head of highlights today as well. I'm in the chair for a good five hours, four to five hours, I would say. So I just use the opportunity to get some work done. When I'm feeling a bit busy, I'm like, take my laptop because there's a good chance that I'm gonna be there for a while. out the way i'm all fresh fresh hair feeling brighter and lighter i had a full head of highlights today so i was in there for a, quite a while um but feeling fresh it feels a lot lighter as well i had a nice healthy chop and um had some layers put back in i have a massive addition in my car which was from home bargains i've had my eyes peeled on this for this for the longest time, I first saw it on an account, an Instagram account, Home with Cat, and she's got this beautiful olive tree that is in her like stairwell in a nice wicker basket. It's under a hundred pounds from Home Bargains. Every time I've gone into Home Bargains for it, couldn't find it. This one had four of them, so I did pick one up. I even sent Tom a message whilst I was in there saying, "Do you like this?" And I sent him a photo of her Instagram account with the olive tree, and he was like, "Yes." So we've committed i have mentioned it previously in our like cinema room that we've got set up at the moment in fact we got the new bean bags out yesterday so i'll show you that when i get home as well i'll show you our little cinema setup there's a little corner that i thought about putting the olive tree but having seen it on her instagram on the stairwell i'm actually even thinking maybe have it upstairs somewhere yet to decide but i'll find a home for it even if it was where i initially thought in that cinema room but there's just something about it now being a really nice cozy cinema room with these massive giant bean bags that we've got that i actually quite like the idea of that space having more of a snack station with like popcorn and snack so anyway i'm gonna head home now but via poundland like i said i did want to have a quick look in poundland and again they have a couple of good ones around here so i'm gonna go to the burnley one there's a big asda there as well um and I did an Asda haul not too long ago, if you saw it, where I showed you some pumpkins and new in bits that they've got. In fact, it was, I think it was my last video. See what they're saying? 
see if there's anything new in. Head back home and then show you everything that I picked up. I've got a big tub full of stuff because I did pick up some more plastic containers for storage for in our storage room in the basement as well. Let's head to Poundland. Hey, I've been dreaming about you. Every night I see your clearest day It's just something about the way you make me feel Cause I can't concentrate Anytime you're beside me, yeah It's what you do to me I can barely breathe Hey, I've been thinking about you And all the words that I'm gonna say Next time that I see I am back now. Come here, what have you got in your ear? Just a little knot. Just a little knot. Oh, thank you for your ball. Did you miss me? Did anyone else feed their dogs sleep to them? <laughs> so gross okay these are the bits that i mentioned that i said at the start of the video i was like oh i've got some bits that i wanted to share with you anyway there was a deal on at selfridges um and i thought i would share it with you for anyone who's never tried the morphe um continuous mist i've just ran out of my other ones so i picked up a new one myself i think these are about 16 pounds and they said any two purchases you can get um, a free makeup palette and blusher and lip gloss or lipstick lip glaze cherry lip glaze with the cherry coke collab so i was like oh that's quite a good deal to get a full makeup palette and blusher and lip glaze for two purchases considering i was making one anyway i said well i don't need anything else what's the kind of like cheapest product to do and she said lip liner is a six pound which who knew i've got hair in my mouth sorry who knew um Morphe was so affordable. I thought £6 was really reasonable. For some reason, I always thought Morphe would be more. Um, and anyway, this is the colour of the lip liner that I went for. It's called Coffee and Kisses, is it? Coffee and Kissy. Coffee and Kissy. And then the other thing that I picked up, I actually ordered myself. I did do a white company order last night. <laughs> which I'm very excited about. There's a new scent that they brought out for autumn. Which actually a few of you have messaged me saying you've smelled it in stores and it smells amazing. So I'm hoping that when that arrives I'm going to love that. But yeah, put in a white company order. But I also put in a Nespresso order which has already arrived. And I stocked up on some decaf pods. But they also included um, this which I thought was quite fun. It's a blind tasting thing that they're offering with, I think it's with any purchase at the moment. If, if the offer's still even on. But any purchase, and I was buying those decaf pods anyway, are all numbered. Each individual pod has a number on it. So this is like starting at one, going through to seven. And they tell you what kind of drink it is, whether it's like an espresso, ristretto, a lungo. And then once you've tasted them, you scan the QR code and you can actually, they're revealed. And then you've got this little leaflet where you can actually kind of rate your coffee so like over the next week or whatever and then do a blind taste test i just thought that was quite fun and the fact that they included that for free was quite a nice little addition so i thought i would share that with you if anyone's interested so from poundland i thought we could do our own little blind fund taste test here they've got these mystery dairy milk new mystery bars which if you can guess the flavor like you're in for a chance for winning something but i thought i'd try them on camera they've got the big bars for one pound fifty I think these were two for a pound so i picked up number one and number two and then i'll show you the bits that i did get the other bits that i got from poundland and the home bargains bits which are in this box here and then i'll take you downstairs actually and show you that tree in situ so let's try this number one raspberry some kind of raspberry where's my phone that to me tastes like raspberry Oh, so there's nothing online that says what it actually is. Okay. Ooh, right, okay. Well, I think that one's some kind of raspberry. Let's try number two. Mmm. I don't like that one. That one's like palm of violets. Mmm. I prefer the first one. I'm going to leave that. 
come another piece of this one. Now, I'm not a fan of Palmer Violets, but that's exactly what it tastes like. I feel like I might submit that answer because I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. Is it raspberry? Eating mess. Maybe eating mess and Palmer Violets, I reckon. Let me know if you tried those and what your guess was. Okay, as always with Poundland, I do, I do get a little charity scratch card because I feel like, why not? Do my part by getting a charity scratch card. Scratch that with you once I've just shown you these other bits. I have to admit, I'm not in, I've kind of fallen out of love with Poundland. I feel like it always used to be hit and miss, but I feel like it's been a long time since I've gone in and had a good shop in there. I've just got like the odd thing and not really, you know, just an essential item. It's not really like a love, like, oh my God, what a great find. So, well, apart from this one, because this was only four pound for a box of Gillian chocolates, which are my favorite. Now this is a naughty purchase, but I have no excuse for that. I did also pick up some command strips just to hang some artwork that I've got. I'm gonna see if it temporarily will hang with that until we can properly install it. Let me show you the artwork actually, because it is beautiful. It's from um, a lovely girl called Jess on instagram i'll leave her instagram handle on screen or down below so that you can actually find a link to this piece it's beautiful she's done it bespoke for us this commission and she's actually done artwork for my friend lydia before that's how i first came across her and loved her work and then she reached out and wanted to send me a piece so she's created me this lovely design which actually has bits of the Lick Beige one, which this color on our bedroom walls is, running throughout this. So this is gonna go like in this middle panel section. So it's gonna go really nicely in that gap. Again, we measured out and she chose um, the size perfect for fitting in that gap there. So yeah, thank you so much to Jess. Her Instagram handle is Art With Feeling. Definitely check her out and have a look at some of the pieces that she does. She sells some already done that are really reasonable prices. So um, yeah, check her out, she's amazing. And then I also picked up just a couple of new in snacks I've never seen in Poundland before. Well, I've never seen anywhere before to be fair. And they looked really intriguing again cinema bar snack type vibes. I'm not really a nut eater, but these are crunchy corn pieces. So they are gluten-free, vegan, premium crunchy corn. They had four or five different flavors. I went for the cheese and onion and just the salt and vinegar. I think they also did sea salt barbecue, maybe another one, but I'm intrigued by those. I did also come home to a parcel from Iconic London. The lovely team have sent me some of their new Underglow Blurring Primer and Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. Oh, this kind of rings a bell of my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I mean, I'm comparing it to that, it might be completely different. New Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint, so maybe a bit more of like a BB cream. Especially as it's saying it's smoothing, blurring, rather than like glowy. Any kind of a rustle and you think it's for you, don't you? Oh, okay, so sorry, it's two different products altogether. An underglow primer, which is blurring. So again, I'm assuming it might actually be like a pore blur. Um, is it just the one color? Shake well before use. I know it does have a bit of a sheen to it. It looks nice. I feel like it's very light. It's much lighter than the Flawless Filter, so ignore the fact that I compared it to that because I feel like this is definitely a primer rather than Flawless Filter. Sometimes I'll just use it with no other makeup and it's quite good coverage already. And then the Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint, that, which they've sent in three different shades. They've sent in Neutral Light, Warm Light, and Cool Light. For some reason, I feel like I might either be cool or neutral light, because sometimes I can get a little bit of pinky undertones. How nice is this packaging? Just pop a little bit on there. Nice, it goes on really smoothly. I feel like it's not heavy coverage. It's definitely like a light finish, that one. I'm intrigued to try that one out. I'll let you guys 
know how I get on with those. Let's do our little Poundland scratch card now that um, I've shown you all the um, all of those bits. Okay, so you have to reveal your numbers and then see if any match. I don't think I've won anything there. 56. No. Okay, never mind. Okay, now I'm going to share with you the bits that I got from Home Bargains. I've got, as you may have seen in the car, these three extra tubs. They only had three in this size, actually. Otherwise, I probably would have got some more. We'll see how many I still need for those storage shelves in the basement but anyway some bits that i bought from home bargains first thing are these they had lots of seasonal items in for autumn and winter so this spiced apple for breeze bathroom air refreshener refresher i don't feel like these last that long but when they do they are quite strong so i'm going to put these in each of the bathrooms they're like on offer three for five pounds I got a, another Bim Buddy. This is just the Apple one. Um, and then speaking of cinema snacks, I got these microwavable popcorns in sweet. They've got salted as well. And then this, I thought was, this was lovely. I think it was about three pounds and it's made for outdoor living. So it's actually a material that's suitable for like barbecues and things, just a big salad server. And we've not, we've got like a deep salad bowl, but not like a really nice wide one where you can see all of the salads. You know, sometimes if you've got a deep bowl, all the good stuff just goes to the bottom. So yeah, I love that. They had them in gray. I think they had like a blue or green or something. And then they had this stone kind of color as well. I did get another bath sheet just for Barney. We've got um, an area in the utility room where I keep spare clean towels for him. And there's only like, a couple that we have on rotation so i thought it's always good just to have a, another one again for like maybe having one in the car these are bath sheets that they do in home bargains are 9.99 they're pretty big and then i did get some cereal for myself in pumpkin spice some shreddies their shreddies now are very different to how i remember shreddies shreddies was just shreddies now they've got like the cocoa one the sweet one the honey nut one the pumpkin spice one so yeah i just got that for getting in the autumn mood to be honest with you i did have them last year and they are delicious um and speaking of pumpkin and spiced pumpkin they've got the flash out again i ran through this pretty quickly last season last autumn and yeah i used it all up it's pumpkin scents for me are not the best I like pine scents around the home and you know like anything's too sweet or sickly like a lot of the candles that you get in home scents and things at this time of the year with the spiced pumpkins, caramel waffles, all of that kind of thing. It's a bit too sickly for me a lot of them so I do have a good sniff of all of them and if I find a good one then I take it because otherwise I'm just like ugh it's too sweet for me. Um, but yeah this is really nice. They do the wipes as well. We've actually still got some wipes left over. I've popped them in the top floor for Tom to, to just always have on hand in his room up there. Like I lock him away in the loft. It's like his office and walk-in wardrobe and bathroom up there. So that's what I mean by Tom's floor. And then I also got these Monin syrups in salted caramel and gingerbread. Again gingerbread lattes are a fave anyway so i got another one of these but this one i don't think i've had the salted caramel and then i picked up these i thought these were a great bargain find from real techniques they must have been like a special edition with the packaging uh the does it say wild at heart animalista range um, but i got a buffing brush and a powder duo fiber brush as well these were only 1.99 but they retail for 10 pounds each mega bag so i picked up one of those each i also found from yankee candle they had some seasonal wax melts and again this is what i mean by scented pumpkin things this one is actually quite spicy which i like it's if it's too sweet that i'm not a fan but this is really spicy. That's actually really nice. Just a lighter for some candles. And then I've got these. I've got a mark that I did by accident on our bedroom wall. So I thought I would try using one of these just to get it off. We actually have quite a lot of little marks and things here and there from when tradesmen have been in and out. So we do feel like when we have the snagging list completed on the entire property there'll still be bits to snag upstairs and down in the basement as well where just little touch-ups need to be done but for now just to wipe walls down um i got those and then last but not least i got this 
uh, have a birthday card from the Luxe collection that they've got there. They've got a couple of really nice cards from this collection. They're only 69p. Um, I did have this one, but I used it up and I thought I would repurchase it because it's a good little stockpile card to have. Just a nice generic one that is for, or could be for anyone. So yeah, that is everything that I have picked up. I'm gonna take you down into the basement now. I might take you down and set up that olive tree. Are you coming down? Or no? <laughs> so guys, this is down in our basement. Oh, there he comes. This is down in our basement, which like I said last night, we did this little setup with the new bean bags that we've got. Let me just put this down and get the light on. We have a strict no dog policy on these. Isn't that right, Barn? He's got his bed over there. And yeah, it's looking a little disheveled, but this was our setup for the first night last night and we absolutely loved it. So we've got the big bean bags. These are called the Mega Mammoth bean bags. And we got two. I mean, you can fit two people on one, but we were like, no, nope, let's go all out. Let's get one each. And a footstool as well, which you can buy additionally. And then I've just popped a couple of throws over. We've got this footstool, this sheepskin footstool from Next. The rug is at Ikea, as is... No, that's actually home bargains. Barney's bed is from Next as well. I've just got a throw on there. But yeah, this is where I'm thinking to put the olive tree over in this corner. We still have the curtain pole to hang to hide all of the builder's mess going on, the builder's works outside here, because that is the um, underneath of our extension. So we are going to have steps up and out, which are being built currently. So I just want to have a set of curtains up, which I've already got the linen curtains. We just need to have someone fit that pole. And then, yeah, I thought this section over here could have the nice big olive tree. We'll see how it looks. Let's try and get it in situ and see if it's too big or if it fits. I've also got this basket which I'm going to use for the base. This is again Home Bargains. This is $7.99. It's got the inner liner as well for plants. And then I've got this linen look tablecloth from Wilco's that I thought would be quite nice kind of laid on the top of the tree. You can use this as more of a um, coffee table and just switch things up a bit and have this maybe to the side over here and put that footstool in the middle. In fact, yeah, let's do that. I wake up from the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say Who was sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone now we have it. Our brand new olive tree. I'm actually really happy with it. I think once you fluff it as out as well, it um yeah it really fills out it's a really nice muted kind of green it's not too like whoa that's green and the olives on it are quite subtle as well so yeah i'm really really happy with that definitely think some kind of burlap or hessian or um tablecloth like this one is a good addition because the actual inside of the pot is like a dark charcoal gray with these little brown bead things which make it look fake i think so by putting that in i think that Works really nice. Oh, what was the rule that we had in here, Barney? I think it was no dogs on the bean bags. <laughs> that didn't last very long. They're not for doggies. How can you say no? He looks so cozy. Ugh, <sighs> dog voice. Sorry about that. Right, movie night back down here tonight, I reckon. What do you think? Oh, gosh, it's just so dreamy. Oh, this is the dream. So if you remember my... Hi. If you remember my IKEA vlog that I did. No, looking the feet. You're on camera. Barney, you're on camera. Everyone can see you. Um, <laughs> I did uh, a bit of a shop with me to IKEA and I sorted out this room in here. We put a sofa in here and it was gorgeous, don't get me wrong. Barney, enough. Enough, enough. But yeah, that sofa was just too uncomfortable, especially if we're having it as like a nice cozy snug um, temporarily. The, the idea with down here is that we, I mean, we wanted it to be a gym, but with the ground floor being renovated, it makes sense to have some kind of a like a living room sitting area. So we don't just have to, I was gonna say sit and watch TV in our bedroom. We don't even have a TV in the bedroom. So, 
we didn't want to miss out on having like a living room space whilst they renovated the ground floor. So for now, we still have it as kitchen living area. Um, but until they knock through, which is going to be very, very soon, we um, are just using it as the space up there and then just coming down here in an evening for like a movie night. But eventually it's going to get to the point where that ground floor is basically we can't go in it or it's a complete open building site. So it'd be nice to have this as a bit of an escape. Um, but yeah, these bean bags, Big Bertha, that's what they're called. We're a fan. We love them. Right. It's time to go now. It's time to go. So I'm going to leave today's video here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and little shop with me. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.